Hi, so you probably have this uh, cool idea to use the custom URL scheme, uh, a feature in iOS, where you can basically create your own custom URL scheme to open your application, uh, and using that you can also have different URLs for different tasks inside your application and so on. Uh, if you have lots of views in your application, you can of course also have a link that will take you direct to show you how place. to implement this. Uh, I will first create a small little application uh, in Xcode, uh, where we only have a label basically. Uh, inside that label we can display the URL you did open. And we will use Safari to open the URL. And you will see that the Safari will basically ask the user to uh, if she or he wants to open up your application uh, when they uh, submit an address that conforms to your custom URL scheme. So uh, inside Xcode, let's create an iOS application. Uh, let's we use a single view app and press next. I will call the application URL Viewer for programming language. I choose Swift, and we don't need any core data or unit tests or UI tests right now. And, and let's press Next. And I place this on my desktop for now. Great. So as I said, we need a small view controller with a label inside it. As you can see here, when we create a single view application, we will already get a view controller that is hooked up to this screen here. Uh, let's get rid of all those comments and so on here in the view controller. We don't need that. And now go to the main storyboard. So, in the storyboard, let's search for a label and add it here to the middle of the screen. And we can create some new constraints to to all of this label to take most of the screen item with here so set it to margin 8 for both top and left and trailing and uh, so on and let's also make this appear in the center uh, and if you use a longer URL for example it will clip uh, in the end of the screen here so we use a line break as well and we line break for each character so great uh, now we need to hook this label up to our view controller so that we can work with it so when we are inside the main main storyboard here we can press on option and then click the view controller file to open it up inside the assistant editor here and then we select the label pressing the control key on the keyboard and drag it and we will get this blue line that you can see when we drop it we can assign a name for it let's call it URL label and press on connect great so now we have access to this uh, URL so that we can write to it uh, let's say for example that we start this application now using the iPhone X great now when we start the application you will see that we have uh, a white background and a label inside it and uh, it will just display label here so stop that and uh, 
let's just show stop that and then we go to the next step where we actually uh, register the custom URL skin that we would like to use for this application and to do that we open up the info plist file let's minimize some other things on the screen here and we just press on whatever we like here and then press enter and a new row will be created for us so the info plist it's a bunch of uh, settings uh, it can be strings or booleans or something like that that will be kind of static for the uh, application and the custom URL scheme basically needs to be registered before the application actually is booted uh, so it will be used to boot the application with the correct settings and so on <coughs> the key that we would like to add now is called URL types so we press enter on that one we can expand this and we will see that it has one item we expand this as well and we should now add a URL identifier and the URL identifier are, is basically the same as your bundle identifier it's, the, it's basically the identifier for your application so when someone opens up a URL scheme so that it's registered for your URL identifier it will use, use that to know which application it should be opened in so we can actually just copy the value from here and place it inside here and then we're basically done with that one great so press enter again uh, we can press plus here for URL identifier because we would also now like to add the URL schemes and the URL schemes is also an array and here we have one item and here we actually add our URL scheme that we would like to use um, if you are in, in Safari or any other browser uh, you will the most common schemes that you will see are basically HTTP or HTTPS uh, so that's basically how uh, how the scheme uh, looks and uh, we just call our scheme URL viewer like that great so this is basically everything that we need to do inside the info plist file uh, now if I relaunch this application in iPhone X or iPhone 10 whatever you like to say then it works just like before but now if I go back into Safari and I go to the address bar and write URL viewer colon slash slash foobar for example and press enter you will now see that it actually asks me to uh, open this page in URL viewer the application so I press open and it just launched the application right now because we haven't told it to do anything else but this is basically the first step so now we can launch the application with the URL uh, we couldn't do that before great so the next step for us is basically to handle the URL and be able to read it when they open the application with it so if you go to app delegate and remove everything that we don't need 
right? Uh, and then we can implement a method called open URL application open URL options and now we can basically do whatever we would like to do with the URL uh, right now but uh, for now I will just put that URL whatever we got inside that label uh, and to do that I would like to find the view controller and uh, right now because I don't have any other view controller uh, I can be kind of sure that the root view controller is um, is the one that uh, includes our label so we create a variable called DC for that uh, we can get it from window root view controller and we make sure that it will be of the type view controller so we type cause it to that one and then we return true so we type cause it to that one and our view controller has this URL label that we did create an output for before uh, and we say that the text for that one is basically the absolute string from our URL that will be passed from here yes and now we also need to return a boolean value so we return true here great so this should basically be it. Uh, let's launch that again and see how well it did perform. Great. Now you can see that it uh, says yes label here right now. But if I go to the home screen, open Safari and we write URL viewer again, colon slash slash and then we say hello world just enter and open it up now we will get URL viewer colon slash slash hello world and we can do the same again URL viewer colon slash slash and foobar asks us to open the URL viewer again we press open and we get that text instead